All right, well, it's become obvious that I am the world's worst animal husbandry person because I keep getting my critters killed, but it's just the brutality of this game in these settings and the stupidness of the animals and the stupidness of the game spawning a bear right inside my yard, stuff like that, you know? So it's not all my fault, I guess. <laughs>well okay this is a problem i went out and about and was gathering some resources and grinding to level 41 came back to the base and a bear had spawned inside here because there's no way he could have gotten here otherwise and somehow managed to kill buddy version 2. don't ask me how because <laughs> buddy version 2 was in the pen he didn't get uh liberty mutual Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. Um, so that means that critters can still spawn inside your compound. This game needs to have some kind of a mechanic to where if you lay like a foundation down, it prevents spawns within a certain radius. And apparently it doesn't. Um, that makes... I mean, what's to prevent a bear from spawning inside of here and killing all my animals? You know what I mean? Uh... That needs to be fixed. That, to my, in my opinion, that is a bug. That is a problem. That is bad game design. <laughs> Crap. All right, we'll have to look for a buddy version three now. Uh, anyways, I went out and about, and oh, by the way, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> I'm an old guy gaming. Um, I wasn't gonna actually start the episode yet, but I wanted to show you that disaster there. Uh, I went out and I gathered some reed flowers and some lilies and some other stuff like that. Um, because I want to make some more of this health tonic. In fact, what I was actually after was wheat, but I didn't find any wind. I found all that other stuff, so I figured, well, let's grab that too. And uh, we have a windstorm. I guess we'll, we might as well harvest these guys. Oh, man. Um, maybe I need to... I mean, if a bear spawns inside of here, there's nothing we can do. Absolutely nothing we can do about it. But maybe what I need to do is put the put the higher walls up here after all um i don't know how buddy got out i honestly don't know how he got out unless he jumped the fence or something but uh oh, that's too bad the animals in this game are very fragile and um i'm starting to wonder you know even with the husbandry talents if they're if they're still too fragile don't know man all right well anyway let's put this in here we got some normal meat that we're going to turn. Where's my stuff? I moved it all around. And right, we're going to turn all this into animal fat. And we have some bacon to cook up. Potbelly stove we put over here. This is all temporary until I can get it moved upstairs. I haven't actually played, uh, other than for the first 10-15 minutes there. I haven't played since the last episode. I guess one good thing about um, the server crashing at the end of the last episode as it stopped the forest fire, so it didn't totally burn down the forest over there. That's about the only good thing, though, about it. All right, so let's put that in there. Um, we have some extra vegetables. So let's let's just load up. I got a, went out and got a bunch of berries. I'm going to put the extra squash in there for, for Liberty also. Yeah, I'm still, I'm surprised that Buddy got out of there. Unless he was out and I just didn't notice it. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Who knows what happens when these things occur. Okay, so I gotta put some stuff away. Anyways, I'll tell you what, let me get situated. And then we're gonna sleep. Wait for this storm to go. And then the plan for today is for us to go... Uh, we're going to go on an expedition to the desert biome, uh, looking for more caves and specifically looking for titanium. So that is the plan for this episode. I do need to... Actually, before I let you go, um, let's go into here. I want to go to the tech tree. One thing I didn't learn yesterday, or, well, yesterday for me in the last episode, is the le electricity tool. we got to have that before we can hook anything else up. Um, so let's learn that, and then I think we were working on this composite armor, but I was checking some stuff out. 
And um, we should probably do the water pump next if we're going to prioritize things. How many points? We have two points. And I was... Um, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, I was looking at this Wayfarer armor. So this is designed for for the desert. And uh, if you have the full set, it's 5% desert exposure resistance minus 10% water consumption. But it doesn't give as much physical resistance, of course. It gives some heat resistance. That's 20% heat resistance. What's our current armor giving us? Um, only 4%. Yeah, so that would, that's something we should think about, but I don't know that I want to spend points on that right now. I think what we should do is we should get the water pump and the, and the piping, because that's going to, we, we need that. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to get the water pump, we're going to get the piping, and that uses our points up for level 41. We have some talents, uh, no solo talents at the moment. Um, I'm just going to keep, you know, working here on the husbandry tree because I've already started it. And if I get this maxed out and I still think the animals are, are too fragile, which I probably will, then I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know if it's worth it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So if we want to go down this tree, we have to start with this saddle crafting cost, which is really lame. Who gives a crap? I've got so much leather coming out my ears. I'm throwing it on the ground. But we have to do it. Unfortunately, they they gate some of the better stuff uh, under you know underneath some crappy stuff, and yeah, it just doesn't matter. Some of the talents are not very well thought out, if you ask me. There's nobody that plays this game that gets to you know a point where oh I don't have enough fur and leather. <laughs> you, I got a whole thingy of it here, and I, I I'm literally throwing it out on the ground now, you know. So anyway. Okay, I'll try not to complain too much. Oh, the other thing I was going to tell you guys is I did, I, I updated my graphics drivers again um, because there were some new drivers and I, I did some more tweaks on the graphics settings and I toned some stuff down and the performance is a little bit better. It's it's still framey and glitchy and, and that kind of crap happens. <laughs> what in the world? But it's a little better than it was before. And, you know, one of the things that I had, that I turned down was the shadows and so it makes under the water look like crystal clear very unrealistic but you know I don't spend all my time underwater anyway so we can live with that I suppose okay well anyway I'm gonna let you go here uh, well I'm not gonna let you go I'm gonna cut the camera and get a couple things situated organized we're gonna sleep to the night and then tomorrow morning we're gonna jump on Liberty Mutual and we're gonna go on a little bit of an expedition all right guys it's the next morning I'm out actually gathering some weight really quick before we take off uh, because I want to make some more of those health potions. Um, so that should be enough to to get us going on that. So I'll get that going and then we will take off for the desert. I'll probably just meet you at the mouth of the cave um, going into the desert. Oh, by the way, I was going to tell you, this is what the water looks like. <laughs> it's like crystal clear down here. I mean, I can definitely see good, but it's just not very realistic. But like I said, I mean, we don't spend a lot of time underwater, so... We'll just have to have to make it work for now. But I am, you know, I do have, I, I have noticed that the performance has improved a, a bit. You know, it's still not perfect, but a bit, and uh, it should. We should be able to make it work. All right, I'll see you over um, at the desert. And of course, a storm starts right when we want to leave, naturally. Oh. Get out of here. You are trespassing. All right, guys, we are um, at the, the cave and ready to enter the desert. Um, one thing I want to just kind of show you guys, um, I, I did a live stream earlier today. Today's a Saturday the 7th, and I showed this on the live stream. But uh, there's a bug to where if you're in a cave and you're on your mount, uh, it lights up in here. And it also, it's like the game thinks you're outside because if there's like a storm or something going on and you get on your mount, you have like the full volume. It's really weird. But then if you hop off the mount, <laughs> then you're in like pitch dark of the cave without a, a torch. 
So yeah, um, I'm sure that's something they'll fix at some point. It shouldn't be that way, but it is currently that way in this uh, in the game. All right. So anyway, our goal for for now is we're going to be looking for more caves and looking for titanium in particular. I've mined everything out of this cave except for iron. There's a lot of iron in here, and there's a few uh, copper nodes all over on the Ring Lake side to left, uh, but it's mostly just iron and copper now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of go follow along. I guess we're going to follow along um, this edge of the of the desert and look for more caves so that we can find some more titanium. And then, you know, if we... We don't actually really need any... any hey, cut that out. Uh, we don't actually really need any squash because we, you know, we have plenty of that. So there isn't any resources that I can think of off the top of my head that we need to get here. Uh, we're just looking basically for more titanium because that's what we are quite low on at the moment. Um, I seriously doubt there's a, a, another cave up here close to the big cave we just came through, but I'll take a quick look anyway. And then we'll also, you know, just kind of take a look around the, the, this desert area. This is my first time here uh, other than just popping in uh, the last time just to get a little bit of squash so I haven't explored this area at all and yeah we'll take a look around and see what's going on and hopefully we come across another cave in fact it looks like that might be a cave right there uh, if a big old windstorm or something nasty like that comes up <clears throat> so the the moas are also in the desert I see which is a little bit odd I guess but I don't know. Maybe they are desert creatures. I think they're actually native to museum or uh, museum, New Zealand. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, there's a scorpion. Oh, is this a cave? Maybe not. I don't think that is a cave after all. I'm not too worried about the scorpion. And there's a cougar, but neither one of those creatures are any more dangerous than what we've already been dealing with in, in Ring Lake. Would be curious to see what their levels are, though. That's a level 81 scorpion. Okay, so it looks like the, the critters are somewhat high level. That's an, a mountain lion there, or a cougar. He did. So these guys do provide some, um, like bug parts that I think you can use to make some of the, the web or some of the, um, what should I call it? There's, there's, um, I don't know if you unlock it. I can't remember if you unlock it like in the, Seems to be every bit as tough as a as a whatchamacallit. Here, let's take one of our health potions. Oh, okay, so that does not. Oh no, you gotta hold it down. Okay. Well, wow, that's a that's a pretty good boost. And it looks like it also increases our maximum health too. It does. That's good stuff, man. Okay, cool. Um, but we still also need to take this. To get rid of the um the wound. There's the hyenas, yeah. Uh I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, you can you can do like bug based armor. And I, I think you I don't know if you unlock that. Um like in the space station or if it's a talent or something. Maybe it's a talent, I don't remember. It's supposed to be pretty good armor too, from what I've been told, but I haven't tried it myself. Oh, elephant and cave. Nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and stop here. Um, <clears throat> that's a zebra, right? Yeah, that's a zebra. 
Okay, we're gonna go in this cave, uh, and like I said, we're looking for titanium in particular. Let's just get to the entrance of it. And uh, I think I want to kill this elephant too. But there's a lot of other predators around that may join in the fight. And I need to also replenish my my food too. Alright, let's take this guy out. I'm taking him down because he's getting so close to me that he's probably going to attack. How is that missing? Alright, something's bugged. There's no way I could have missed that many shots. Huh, weird. Okay, let's take out this elephant. I was going to say, does he not know we're here? All right. Now, I want to see if we can get the... Uh... Really, that's all you're going to give us for an elephant kill? That's lame. You can get like, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like really super good meat off these guys. <coughs> we also are hot. Well, we'll probably uh, fix that issue when we get inside the cave. Nothing else will be able to fill up our water. Uh, speaking of which, let's take a drink now. Okay. Uh, where's Liberty Mutual? Oh, he's right here by the cave. Okay. Let's deal with the worms first. It's reloaded. That didn't kill you. That killed you. Get our arrows back here. That? Oh, yeah. That has two arrows in it. Because I shot two arrows at him. Uh, in there. Oh, I see some plat uh, platinum. I wonder why I always want to call that plutonium. <laughs> platinum, it's platinum. Get our arrows out of there. Uh, out of here. It is hot in this cave, too. All right, let's make sure uh, Liberty Mutual's far enough into where he's not going to be attacked while we're in here. Oh, it doesn't look like it doesn't do the light bug in this cave. How interesting. Okay. Maybe it doesn't apply to desert caves. Maybe it's just um, mountain caves or something. Okay, um, <clears throat> I don't think... Mm, yeah, let's gra grab the platinum. Because I might want to make that platinum weave armor, and I don't have a lot of platinum. Even though we're trying to prioritize titanium. What is this? That's sulfur. Okay. That's copper, and that's iron. We don't need any of that stuff right now. That's copper up there, too. Okay, yep. Yeah. There's not a whole lot in this cave. It's good to know it's here, though. Because if a storm starts up real soon and we don't find something else, we could potentially come back here to shelter. But everything else is just copper and iron in here. So not a whole lot to... Well, in, in coal, but... Not too worried about that, either. Alright, let's move along. See if we can find the next cave on down the line. Get away from that scorpion. Turn my light off.
That arch is kind of cool over there. Oh, he's got the attention of a mountain lion. There's a pig. So yeah, my plan is really just to kind of skirt along the the edge of the biome. Here's another cave, I think. Yeah. And find all the caves and get as much titanium out of said caves as we can. All right, let's jump off of Liberty Mutual. Really? The worms are up already? Where is he? I don't see him. Wow, we're, uh, we got heat exhaustion. It must have, um, ramped up the heat effect of the desert, because it used to not be that big of a deal. Oh, good, titanium. Fantastic. Yeah, maybe we better think more seriously about getting that platinum weave armor then. Or, well, that's not what it's called. It's called, uh, Wayfarer's armor, I think. Are you okay, Liberty? Titanium, nice. Here, I want to get... Yeah, see, he's already getting attacked. Doesn't take long at all, man. And we got a storm. Uh-oh, we might lose him. I don't have any veggies to feed him either. Well, there goes Liberty. Son of a gun. Yeah, you can't... I knew better than that, too, you guys. You can't leave them alone for a second, or... Something's gonna find them. And it's because the game puts an aggro range on them. And I think it just does that to piss players off. <laughs> Crap. Okay, well, you know, easy come, easy go, I guess. Um, we better... Let's get all these predators out of here because I can, I'm going to have to stay here until the storm's over. Um, this could be a problem for us with this heat stroke business. I wonder if I get the water inside the cave if that'll help. I've just never, in the past, you know, when I've spent time in the desert, it's never really seemed to be that big of a deal. But maybe it is now. It should be. I mean, you know, part of the enemy of this game is the environment. Okay, let's go jump in the water and see if... I say, where did that worm... Oh, you know why? Because we ran out. Alright. Let's see if this will cool us off a little bit. Still shows our temperature going up. Really? Yep, our temperature is still climbing, even submerged inside of water, inside of a cave. Which should be reasonably cool, desert or no desert. Okay, well, I guess what that says to us is that we're going to need that Wayfarer's armor when we come to the desert, which means we better start grabbing as much platinum as well as titanium as we can. Um... How heavy is... Wait a minute. What happened to... What's his name? Saddle. Didn't I grab it? I was going to throw it out. Oh, and here it is. That is... Oh, it's only 1.5 kilograms. It's not as heavy as I thought it was. Uh, it's an iron deposit there. Okay, well, let's get this titanium for sure. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about my heat situation. It doesn't seem to be taking my health down, though. It's just affecting things like stamina and whatnot. Let's look at this again. 
Less weight capacity, health regeneration, water consumption, mainly damage, and less experience. Okay, so all of that sucks, but it's not life-threatening necessarily. I mean, not directly, I guess I should say. Um, so let's just stock up on water. And yeah, give us a parasite too while you're at it. Why not? Sure. Oh, uh, there's some more platinum. Let's grab that too. But we'll just grab as much as we can carry, and then we're going to have to just head on back home because there's not much a whole lot else we can do at this point. What time is it? It is 15.30. See, the thing is, is it'll get cold at night, and usually the you end up with the opposite problem. It gets too cold at night. All right. That storm is still happening. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're almost at the very limit of our weight. But you know what? We don't need any of this stuff. We don't need to take it back with us. It's just not that big of a deal. I don't care about any of this scorpion stuff either. I'd like to keep bones, but I don't think we will. Since we have, you know, the, the weight limit penalty, all of this stuff I just don't really care about. We're only going to take the essentials. Okay, so that lightened us up a little bit. We're still pretty darn heavy, though. Um, but we need to wait for this storm. I think at least wait for it to get... How in the heck did you come back again? At least wait for it to get, you know, into the, the tail end of it before we take off. I still think we should cool off by standing and um, peeing in this water. That doesn't make sense. Okay, the worst of the storm is over. Um, considering that it's starting to get on in the day, and we're on foot now, we should probably head on home. A lot of predators around. So, yeah, let's go. Let's book it on home. We didn't get quite as much as I was hoping, but it'll have to do. I'm going to see if I can just outrun these scorpions. I don't want to waste bullets on them. Well, we got a cougar on us, though. We can't outrun him. Whoa! Those guys are faster than I'm giving them credit for. All right. We got a level out of the deal. Okay, let's just keep running and see if we can get rid of or lose these guys. They're still after us. That hyena's probably going to pursue us now, too. Performance should generally be better in the desert just because we don't have all the foliage and stuff around. It seems like it is. I still get the freezes. My arrow's back. And I'll leave you for the scorpions to eat. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll plan on coming back here after we have the Wayfarer armor set. Um, because this heat's a little more significant than I was given it credit for. I don't see my arrow in the sky, so I'm going to have to butcher him. I'd be gathering more of these, you know, resources like bones and stuff, but we have a pretty significant encumbrance deficit, so I think we just need to get the hell out of here.
Dang. Dang, bro. These bastards are fast. Everything wants to eat me. Alright. I don't think we put any arrows in this guy. Nope. What about you? Nope. Definitely you. This is actually a fairly significantly dangerous place on foot. My goodness. We, need, we have a wound we need to take care of, too. Well, let's do that right now. All right. All right, how many bullets do I have? Right, we don't have a lot of bullets left. Shoot. Okay. Well, let's see if we can skirt around... Scorpions at least a little bit. We need to we need to head that direction. Uh, maybe we'll go across this way. Yeah, this place is I mean I've been in the desert a lot on Olympus, you know, doing the missions and stuff. I don't know, it seems a little more dangerous than Olympus. Maybe it is. Maybe it's because it sticks. Oh, you know what it is? It's because we're on hard difficulty and there's more spawns. That's what it is. Okay. I was trying to figure out why are there so many predators around? That's why. Okay. Well, our first um, significant foray out into the desert has taught us that it is, it's more dangerous than I was expecting. And it means that we need the Wayfarer armor and we need to come a little bit better prepared in terms of ammo and stuff like that. Um... But that's good. And it was a good lesson learned, and it's not... We didn't learn it the super hard way. Uh, well, we're not home yet, but... <laughs> um, I think we'll... We should make it home. I don't... I'm not expecting the, it to be super bad. So let's head on into the cave here, and... Put our light on. And as soon as we get out of the desert area, uh, we should start to cool down and get rid of this heat stroke business. That's a pretty nasty debuff. At least there's no worms in these caves. Oh yeah, our temperature's going down. In fact, we're getting a little, <laughs> a little on the cold side now, but that's alright. Uh, I need to go this way. How much longer is this going to last? It doesn't have a timer on it. Oh, cooling bandages. Oh, okay. We might we we might need to look into that too. I've never used a cooling bandage in this game. I've used the warming bandages in the Arctic zone, but not the cooling ones. How much room do I have? Um, so we grab another copper node. All right, well, it's become obvious that I am the world's worst animal husbandry person because I keep getting my critters killed, but it's just the brutality of this game in these settings and the stupidness of the animals and the stupidness of the game spawning a bear right inside my yard, stuff like that, you know? So it's not all my fault, I guess. <laughs> At least that's, I'm, I'm going to keep telling myself that. All right, you guys, well... I think that's pro this is probably as good a place as any to wrap up the episode. Um, I will keep the camera rolling in case something real crazy happens. But otherwise, I'm going to officially let you go here. And in the next episode, the plan is going to be for us to make our material, our, our generator, our material processor, and hopefully our electric furnace if I have enough stuff to do all that. We'll see. If I don't, then I might, you know, I'll, I'll grind it up if it doesn't involve titanium 
more titanium than we have because that there's none of that left here in Ring Lake. It's all completely mined out. So with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.